so I think I might have finished that track. The one where I was demonstrating the structure concept where it's subtractive structuring, starting off with a complete window of clips, eight bars in length, and then muting everything and just turning on individual clips to get a bit of a structure up and running quickly. So that's what I used as my foundation. I've spent a little bit of time since refining it. You can see I've deleted all the elements as well that I don't need. And uh, I think I'm pretty happy with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it in the background and I'm gonna take you a little uh, tour of this. So the intro, it's really easy. It's just basically a set of beats. And I'm gonna zoom in on certain elements. You can hear I've got a crash and splash symbol. And just gonna wait for the next bit. Yeah, there's a sweep synth. I can't remember whether that's coming in halfway through that sequence or not. But just wanna point out this section here coming up. So there's a little bit of a dead drop. So I'm gonna shut up so you can have a listen. So it creates a little bit of interest when the DJ's mixing the beats in. The pads, basically, it's kind of letting you know something's coming up. And you can see on the structure here that the bass line's gonna come in on this section. Just to let you know over here that the kick was muted towards the end to introduce the bass. And then the vocal comes in and the organ bass, so it's a progression. And I know the vocal's been a bit divisive amongst some of you watching the video before. I took it out and it was really feeling like it was missing something. It's definitely become a little bit of a hook in there, so I'm gonna keep it in. So we're coming up to the first section where it breaks down. The structure's identical, really, to where you saw it last. Bit of a noise sweep coming up. Haven't quite got the transition smooth enough just yet. There was a little bit of a pause. I need to fix that up. A little fill here. Just to lead it in quite nicely. And the mixer, I haven't actually played it out on speakers just yet, so I'm hoping it sounded good. It feels good in the earbuds at the moment. These have almost become like NS10s, you know, like generally if it sounds good on these, it's going to sound good quite a few different places. The Yamaha NS10s were speakers with the white cones, you might have seen them in a lot of studios. Um, they became almost industry standard. Okay, so now we've got this progression with the pad doubled up with a, a resonant synth sweep as well. A little bit of a glitch because the process is getting uh, hammered quite hard here. So a little transition, energy level changing, another little extra vocal. I might bring that one up in a minute actually. A little extra texture over here. Very subtle noise effect in the background. So at the moment, I haven't had a point where I've dropped everything out. The momentum's been pretty solid as we've gone through. The only point where everything breaks down, so no beats, is over here. I mean, the track's not flashy, it's not anything kind of radically different. I was thinking about doing some extra musical sections, but when I did that, it felt like it was too much of a contrast. So once again, kick dropping out. I'm still undecided actually um, about that O vocal. Um, I did that this morning. And funny enough, the crash cymbals I recorded on the train. It was one of those times where it's actually really good to get focused on that. So just a gradual build up here. Once again, nothing too showy. Nice and simple for the DJ. Um, the beat though, a little bit of a kick feel coming up. Computer's struggling there, so apologies. A little bit of a, a digital crunch. Of course, that won't be in the rendered version. Remember when I'm actually playing back these tracks, it's also recording the screen and the audio, so it's a lot for the computer to handle. So we roll towards the end here. 
scratchy reducing elements. Yeah, you know what? I'm taking that O vocal out. I'm just not feeling that. I'm gonna literally make that decision and stick with it. It's a real nice reduction of elements gradually, allowing the DJ to bring the next tune in. So you see that uh, the bass line itself stops coming up. And also there's um, two crash cymbals, one with a, a heavy delay on it. The other one is just dry, so I wanted the contrast. That's why I've got the two there. An alternative to doing that would be to automate, but I just wanted to keep it simple. So you can see here rolling down, the organ bass is in there, just as a little kind of, it's kind of just con continuing the momentum really. I tried taking it out earlier, but it felt like it was kind of really missing it. So now taking the, the thick heavy kick out. I mean, obviously by this time, the next tune should be well and truly in the mix. Organ bass drops. Just a few extra drums. Um, actually, there was a kick that needs to be taken out. Where was that? Maybe at the beginning here. Yeah, there we go. Let's take it out. And really, that needs that delay crash on the very end. Just to finish that off, let me just copy the right element. Here we go. So, um, yeah, that's it. I don't know what I'm going to call it just yet, um, but that will be part of the next Rough Tracks EP alongside um, the, the remix of Dark Desire and a couple of other bits I've got on the go. So um, the EP is shaping up nicely. So um, let me know what you think. You know, this is the end result. It's maybe a couple of little tiny tweaks here and there, like I said, with the transitional points. Um, it feels like it's a little bit ragged at the moment, but equally it could be because the processor is struggling. It wasn't sounding brilliant at those points. Um, but anyway, see what you think and um, let me know, yeah? All right, so um, look at something else soon.